Hello everyone, we have another live video from Trader Jim. Uh, the first chart here is uh, the 30 minute chart with the zones that I drew and then here are Trader Jim's zones. And what I didn't draw was these zones up here. Our numbers are all pretty similar here, Jim and mine, based on my work and his. Uh, but what I drew here was the Fibonacci extension and if I draw in those zones now, it'll look very similar to Jim's chart. Look how the market uh, extended to these levels, the 150 and the 200 percent extension of this swing that I drew here. So if I just draw in th this zone here and then uh, again draw in uh, the 200 percent extension, then the market kind of fulfilled these levels and my chart looks very similar to Jim's, although we arrived at it in uh, different ways, me using um, you know, basic support and resistance here, you know, high volume nodes, and I drew this Fibonacci extension for an idea where the market would go, as I don't know exactly how uh, Jim does what he does. Anyway, great video by Jim, and I also posted a live video of my own trading as I prepare to uh, jump into a combine. February 4th, around 7.33 p.m., uh, Globex open and taking a long here on the 987 Halkinashi. Uh, this is the same exact uh, template with a $1,000 target, $800 stop and trading one contract. Uh, so uh, why a long? Well, let's rewind the tape. So uh 9346 was reached and they closed the day above it that is extremely bullish and that kind of made me have to sit down and look what is overhead uh well overhead upon this close the daily close above 9346 brings about 9455 9455 uh, followed by 95.18 and followed by 96.80. Now, I am getting way ahead of myself. Before the higher numbers could be achieved, 94.55 must be touched and closed above. So, in, in other words, once we reached, once we reach 94.55, um, then we need to have hourly closes and especially daily closes above it to go for that higher uh 9518 uh so uh well uh, let's give this trade some time and see how it works out all right well it's almost nine o'clock the trade is doing fine but definitely we'll have to wait until tomorrow uh to see the results so at some point tomorrow i will do a recap of this trade february 5th uh a little before 7 30 am i just wanted to uh, take a minute because i do have to leave uh, really soon with a very important meeting just wanted to show you really quick uh, the results of the 987 hakenashi tick uh trade and here it is the auto trader indeed hits its target of a thousand dollars plus very nice uh, slippage positive slippage um definitely very sideways choppy action at first would be very difficult to trade manually uh, but the other trader just does not care, gets in the position and just waits for the target. Uh, price action was nowhere near the stop, so that was never a concern. Uh, it does have an $800 stop, so it was way down there, uh, never came close. Uh, so as you can see, left a lot of money on the table. And sure enough, they hit that 94.55, spiked it pretty good. And once again, I am surprised. I did expect them to get to 94.55 upon a daily close of uh, 93.46, I mean, above 93.46. Uh, but I thought they would do it during pit session, not during... I'm sorry. Hold on. Sorry. Uh, not during uh, Globex. They did it during Globex. Uh, which is interesting because it sets up an interesting situation uh, for the morning. Uh, give me just uh, one minute, I'll be right back. So first of all, let me show you the uh, template. Uh, let me just move the uh, time and sale. So um, $1,000 target, uh, $800 stop, and, and you can see uh, that the target was hit. So here's the situation for the morning. Uh, because they reached 94.55, Normally, they would have a reaction 
off of that number. Now it doesn't look like they're ready to break it to the upside. So this means they should go lower. So I am gonna leave the 500 tick daily open range filter on shorts. I know it looks like it's against the trend, but if you've been watching my videos, you know that I do expect a reaction upon confirmation, a reaction uh, when a zone is reached. So uh, 9455 was reached and I am expecting a reaction lower. I'm gonna set the 500 tick on shorts and see what's gonna happen. Uh, February 5th, uh, 1 o'clock, I just came home to grab a few files, I will be leaving again, and uh, there will be no trading in the afternoon, I'm not sure when I'll be back, so I just wanted to go over a few things so I can uh, send uh, Randy the video. So first of all, I'm not sure if the recording came out of the open range uh, filter, but I set it on shorts as I said I would, and I mean, beautiful trade, uh, beautiful entry here by the Auto trader just grabbed that short very quickly. I think just in a few minutes, um, this trade was done, trading just one contract and, and targeting five hundred dollars. Just a beautiful, beautiful trade. It's one smooth uh, move down, and that was done. Obviously, left a lot of money on the table. I I, I did not think we we're going to have that sharp of a reaction of the um, uh, the ninety four fifty five, but we did. But actually, I think we went all the way down to the next zone. So let's go over now. I added the latest zone of 94.55. Now, above this is the 95.18 and then 96.80. Uh, but we cannot talk about those numbers until uh, trading hourly and possibly daily above 94.55. So um, just wanted to, again, go over, for those of you who... who um, marked these zones which i gave uh yesterday well i gave the zones a couple of days ago and then i put these horizontal lines for you uh yesterday kind of encouraging you to do the same just to watch how price action works around these zones uh so today i just added this step one uh which i had to figure out upon the hourly and daily close of 93.46 so i mean uh, you know, from the beginning of the week then i mean here is how most of the time when price reaches a zone, it consolidates. Some of the time, it outright rejects the zone immediately and goes the other way. And sometimes, rarely, but it does happen, it slices through a zone like, like knife through butter, just not acknowledging it at all. Um, so let's see. So uh, from Sunday Globex, right, it reaches the first zone here and just kind of consolidates for quite a while. Remember, these are 30-minute uh, bars here. Uh, so then makes a move up to the zone, consolidates, moves down, and does not quite reach this um, zone on the bottom, which is extremely bullish. And this is what really started this whole tremendous move higher. So then comes up, and it looks like it slices through. But then when you take a look, there was there is consolidation here. Again, these are 30-minute bars. Uh, consolidation up to the zone. Consolidation up to the zone, consolidation up to the zone, a very long consolidation, and then up to the next zone, consolidation, down, and now we are consolidating around again the 9346 area. Where is it gonna go from here? I don't know. If I you know if you put a gun to my head, I would say uh back up, but they could also very well go break down to the uh, the 9257 zone. So um, I'm not going to stay home, so I'm not trading in the afternoon. Just wanted to kind of uh, run this this idea by you. Uh, again, those of you who 
who, who follow these prices, I would love to uh, see what you have to say. Write some comments um, on the bottom under the video. Uh, share the videos, uh, click likes, and so on. And I'll uh, probably gonna probably gonna trade the globex so you would see uh, that in tomorrow's video.